Italian bikes are considered by many to be the Ferraris of the bike world. Renowned to be as fiery and expensive to maintain as Italian women, and as stunning to look at as a Leonardo da Vinci painting, but are Italian manufacturers recognised as brands that offer some of the sexiest and sportiest machines on the market? Well, Italian bikes um, have, have gone from strength to, strength to strength over the last few years. Um, like an Italian car, most of them are red. Um, they're very, very exotic. Um, very nice. Styling more than anything, it's, it's like if you go to any of the local bike hangouts, it's like going into a local nightclub, it's having an Armani suit just a cut above the rest. Stylish. They are just stylish. Um, everything about them, the way you look at them, the way you perceive them, will evoke an emotion. You can find them in art museums, design museums, design awards. They are very much style over function. They were not built the easy way, they were built to look beautiful. So if you're a poser and into the likes of Prada and Dolce and & Gabbana, or a wealthy wannabe Sunday afternoon road racer, an Italian bike could be the ultimate designer fashion statement. But for most of us, owning more than one bike is an affordable luxury. So aside from looks and performance, you want to make sure that the bike you're about to part with your hard-earned cash for will do the job you want it to do. So are Italian bikes practical machines that can be used every day? Most Italian bikes are geared around performance super bikes, very, very fast. Um, but again, a super bike isn't practical, you know, for sort of nipping to the shops on. The racing crouch seating position isn't the most comfortable for the everyday commutee, and it would be impractical to offer Mandy from personnel a lift home from work, as these bikes are mostly single seaters. But are Italian bikes more reliable than their airport baggage handlers? Will you get from A to B without breaking down? Uh, some manufacturers have given the Italian bike scene a little bit of a bad reputation with so they've, you know, mechanically not the best thing in the world, but as far as we're concerned, if the bikes have been PDI'd properly and they go out the door, we never see a problem, they're, they're brilliant. The later bikes within the last five, seven years are a lot easier to own, they're a lot easier to maintain. So maybe Italian bikes offer more form than function. But apart from the minor electrical faults and the odd cam belt failure, they are generally reliable. And remember, all new bikes have at least one year's mechanical warranty. But the main appeal of owning an Italian bike is for its sporty pedigree. The blistering performance and tight grip needed to hold on will leave you picking your fingernails from the palms of your hands. So are they value for money? Well, as long as you don't mind suffering from saddle sore, I suppose they are. The way the bike looks is what drives quite a few people to own them, the aspiration to have one. When you go into your garage and you open it up and you take the cover off and it shines at you, no matter what the weather's doing, it's always, it's going to be a good ride today.